Okay, guys, this may be the uh, last update here. Um, just wanted to get a good highway shot, so I've been cruising on a road for about an hour now, a little bit in town, and we just got up on the highway about 10 minutes ago, and I'm running about 65 to 70, and um, temperatures are looking pretty good. I hope you can see this. This is on my cell phone. Uh, I forgot to bring the uh, camera with me, but so... Uh, cooling temps on the left bottom there and uh, oil is right in the middle so you can see we're running about a five degree delta which is great uh, now it is a really cold day it's uh, like 45 degrees so uh, the true test will be in the summer you know with a load I'm, I'm not pulling anything right now um, I had to uh, pull the coolant filter out of the equation too and that's that's what's getting me back so basically we're right at OEM specs you know running the oil cooler uh, just and I'm pulling the coolant right out of the OEM location right there and uh, all is looking good um, I'm gonna keep working with vents a little bit we're gonna try to do some troubleshooting and figure out uh, you know the problem I guess that I have with running the, the aftermarket the high flow coolant filter in line and why it runs a little warm when I'm doing that, but I got that down to about 20 degrees, um, and that was a while back. So it, I may, and I've tweaked a little bit of stuff since then. So maybe it's a little bit better, but uh, so that's where we're at. Anyways, uh, just wanted to give that a uh, quick update here. Um, say it looks like we're good to go. At least this will get me around town and stuff for now. So. Um, you know, Vince has been really helpful. I do appreciate all the help, and that's one thing I think you probably won't get, uh, you know, from any other company. Is I mean, he'll work with you till you get it figured out. He's he's definitely been outstanding in that aspect. So, uh, so far, I'm happy with the product. Um, just got that one last little piece. Got to figure out how I can get that coolant filter back in line. And, and all I did was take the filter out of the housing. I didn't change up plumbing or anything like that. So it's no big deal to add it back. But Anyways, that's where we're at right now, so we're looking pretty good. So if you have any questions, let me know. All right, later.